people, let's get on to the first continued duel. The first, well, since since you all are beginners, of course, let me teach you the basic elements of this game. Okay, so when you first arrive, you get a deck leader. And all these fortresses around you are the fortresses you go to. As you can tell, you can either go to the Lancaster side or the dip or the go for the Lancaster side or the Yorkster side. Yorksters are white. Yorkster fortresses are white, so these are the Yorksters. The red are the Lancasters. So depending on which side you choose, you go you choose a deck later and then go. You either choose Yugi or Seto's side. So to begin with, I chose Seto. Oh, and by the way, this little thing where the system thing is, this tells you all the stuff. Your deck, to save, your health, and options. Now I do not want to turn it to the screen. And down here, right with my fingers, and down here, this is the part where it tells you about your name, your, you type in your, your typed name you chose, your deck, who your deck leader is, your DC, meaning your level, how many runs and loses you've done, and if you collected all the rose cards. So yeah. Oh, and just so you know, Stone Hand over here, it has three masters. It has Seto, and this doofus named Fab. He has two deck leaders. He's on both sides, the Yorkster and the Lancaster. No matter what side you're, he's on, he'll always be there. Okay, now to show you off my deck. I have three deck leaders, of course. <laughs> yep, these are my deck leaders. I have Injection Fairy Lily, Goddess of the Third Eye, <laughs> And Fairy of the Fountain. So yeah. Oh, and in this game you also have ritual cards. As you can tell. Oh, and back here's the library. As you can tell right now, I have one thousand three hundred. As you can tell right now, I have 1,300 cards in my library. 1,365 cards in my library. Yeah, I know, that's a lot, right? <laughs> I just don't get how I got that many. I just don't know. I just don't know how I got that many. It's pretty crazy how I got that many. <laughs> okay. So, if you want to get as much as cards as possible, you have to collect the most. But if you see cards like the blank ones here, that means you have to get the real card. Right now, I'm not sure how many blanks I have in my library for these for those cards. Oh, and don't forget, you can when you duel a CPU five times, you can also recarnate. Yeah, if you recarnate a card that you don't want or have too many copies of, you can recarnate it for three cards. But you gotta be careful though, you can only recarnate once you duel the CPU five times. If you duel more than five, you won't be able to recarnate at all. So, which deck should I choose? Hmm. Oh yes, and you can see the current rank. That means they can go up to current ranks. Well, you first start off as a second lieutenant, but as you keep summoning your deck leader more and more, you'll rank up more. And you can also get special leader abilities. But that can only happen when you're a con when you're a colonel. Yeah, that's the only thing you can do. As you can tell, my objective fairly right now is a lieutenant colonel. 
you can also check the guidebook for different sort of leader abilities. Well, there are certain, depending on what type of monster your deck leader is. You can get increased strength for same type friendlies, improved resistance for same type friendlies, spellbind specific enemy, and weaken specific enemy, and all types. Depending on the deck leader, it has many special special abilities. So you never know. <laughs> hmm. And plus, out of all the weakest duelists who have the least DC levels in the game, yeah, it's Yaimokura. He's a red soldier and he has such a low DC. He's a moron. <laughs> so, which deck should I choose? Well, wait until the next video to find out which deck I should I choose, and then we're gonna get started. Farewell.